Next, I'm going to do the output. So I'm just going to copy this heading, Control C to copy. I'm going to come down here and split them and Control V to paste. So now we've got inputs put in. Now we're going to go and do the outputs. And this is much easier when you have both windows tiled so that you do not make any mistakes. Okay, if we look at the screenshot here, O colon 30 is our alarm lamp. So we know that that is the first address on our card. So we type O for output, colon, three, slash, zero, and we hit enter. And again, we're going to auto fill this because that will eliminate mistakes. We grab here on the fill handle and we go down till we get O colon 315. Why do we do O colon 315 and I colon 15? Is because there are 16 bits available on this card. So we only need to fill up to 15 because zero is a valid number. Okay, again, status, we just put zero there and enter and we can go ahead and auto fill all those down to O colon 315. And next, symbol. So we start here with our symbols from our schematic page. Alarm lamp. So a symbol for that might just be station underscore alarm. Station alarm. And then the description could be station alarm light. Okay? You as the programmer have the full choice of labeling these what makes sense to you. So our next output, O colon 31, which is manipulator forward. Now, this is where it must match what you called your inputs. So I did not like manipulator forward. I changed mine to transfer cylinder, so it needs to match that. So I'm going to call this extend EXT underscore transfer underscore cylinder. Okay, that is my symbol. So that means I'm going to extend the transfer cylinder. So when output O colon 31 is on, we can expect motion to happen. Okay, so now for the description, I can be a little bit more generous and actually type out the entire words. Extend transfer cylinder. Okay, very good. So we continue on on the outputs, each one of course, I mean you must label them to match what your input says. So I'm going to go back here and do one more on manipulator backward. I'll go ahead and call this EXT and I'm going to cheat, go ahead and enter that and then I'm just going to change this portion of it to retract, R-E-T, retract. Okay, same thing here, I can start by putting that in there, extend and then I just change the name to retract transfer cylinder. And that's O colon 33, which is manipulator down. Now if we go up to the top, we'll see that those match what I called that particular input. Transfer cylinder extended, transfer cylinder retracted, and extend transfer cylinder. There's actually a method of madness between all those verbiages. If you look at an input and you say transfer cylinder retracted, that's a state that the cylinder is actually in. So we could expect it to be retracted. If we say transfer cylinder extended, that again is a state that we can expect that cylinder to be in. So we look at the outputs then and we say extend. That is an action. So we would expect motion to occur so we say extend transfer cylinder and retract transfer cylinder and we would expect those types of motions to occur from the actual station. And I'm going to go ahead and correct the spelling. Retract transfer cylinder. So now you continue on going through adding all of your outputs to the actual station. And I'm going to go ahead and add the last one in here for you, just so you have an idea that you have to put them all in. Output O colon 39 is no material, according to the manufacturer. Okay, I again didn't like that language, so I chose to say that O colon 39 is the store 
empty, which means we're going to be out of parts. Okay, and then in the description, I call it the storehouse empty alarm. Okay, so my O colon 39 is store empty, which indicates a description of the storehouse empty alarm.